Now, I mentioned earlier that the French defence is one of the most uh, trap-free openings that, that you can play as black against e4. And one of the major reasons is that this move e6 immediately closes down this diagonal going towards f7. And uh, you know, most of the, the, the traps we've seen on this DVD have involved a, somehow white getting to the, the f7 square. So e6 is a, a very solid uh, reply because of this. However, this doesn't mean that black is absolutely trap-free, and the cramp that he experiences in his position can set up a, a, a number of other themes. And I'm going to uh, look at uh, one of these in this section. Now, we have in front of us a game between two very strong grandmasters, uh, Ileskus playing white against Arta Yusupov, Linares 1992. And this game goes as follows, d4, d5, and now white plays this move, e5. Okay, well, black plays the normal reply, c5, c3, and then plays queen b6. White goes knight f3, black goes bishop d7, white goes a3, and now black plays the pawn onto c4. So he wants to try and exploit these uh, uh, these weaknesses on the queen side, maybe getting a bishop a4 to b3 at some point. And white in reply goes knight bd2, black goes knight c6, white plays g3, and then black plays knight g e7. Okay, well, I think this is another uh, appropriate spot to, to hand it over to you and uh, see what you think White's next move will be. You can pause the DVD at this point and take a look at the, uh, uh, the position and see if you can find White's move. Well, what White did at this point, now it looks as if when he plays g3, as, this, as if this bishop is going to go to g2, but in this position... Ileskus uncorked this move. Bishop takes c4. And this is suddenly an absolute disaster for black, because if he takes back, then white's playing knight takes c4. And now this knight on c4 is attacking the queen. And when the queen moves back, let's say it goes here, white goes in knight d6 check. King's got to go here. And then this is going to pick up this rook on h8. It's uh, quite... Amazing that um, a, a GM, you know, of Yusupov's strength uh, could uh, could miss that, but he's not been the only one. And a game between Zi Yun and uh, Ak Sharamova, uh, two very strong female players, featured exactly the same theme. They had this position c3. Black now played. Knight c6, white went knight f3, bishop d7, white went bishop e2, queen b6, and white played a3, and black now went c4, white played knight bd2, knight g7, and exactly the same thing happened. Bishop takes c4. Equally fatal for black. D takes c4. Knight takes c4. Here. Knight here. Check. King here. Check. Etc. Now, um, of course, neither, neither of the black players, when uh, bishop takes c4 was, was played in, in this position, or indeed in the uh, Yusupov game, bishop takes c4, but this time with the, the pawn here instead, Neither of them were able to capture the bishop, and they just played on a pawn down. But uh, in both cases, the result was the same. White went on to win. Now, all credit to Yusupov. He lasted out 70 moves after falling into this. So, uh, uh, you know, he, he defended with tremendous tenacity a pawn down. But the, the trick in the opening was just too much. It was uh, winning a good pawn for nothing.